All right, guys. So each year, it's always a last my last priority, but a top priority before the freeze comes. Uh, dealing with an RV and a camper, um, you know, I dread it, but you got to do it. And when the time comes, you want the tools that are going to get the job done fast. And so what I got in front of me is a half inch water valve uh, from the do it store. This end threads into my camper and then I got a piece of half inch PEX here. And then I have a three eighths. All right. I have a three eighths, I believe standard with air tools. It's the smaller one. I know that I, I believe it's a three eighths. Uh, don't quote me though, but yeah, uh, maybe a two inch piece of half inch PEX. And what we're going to do first is flush, um, any water that might be in the system out. Tighten this into the PEX. It's a tight fit, so it's gonna thread itself. Okay, I got this threaded on, and by no means do you wanna run a bunch of air through your RV before you start this process. Always remember, a little goes a long ways with this system, um, especially if you have the old gray pipe in your RVs and not the current PEX. You do not wanna put a lot of pressure in the lines. You just wanna think of it as, um, blowing it out with the littlest effort possible and you'll be in good shape. So if you have a compressor with a valve and you can control the amount of air that comes out, that's a great way to start. Um, put your rig on the end and just listen, don't feel because that can kill you. Uh, but just kind of get an idea of how much air is flowing out of there. Uh, you should be able to tell, I mean, just crack it a little bit and um, we'll go from there. But yeah, I got that installed on the end. And then you can crimp this connection down if you want, but I don't think it's necessary because this could just uh, be a, another safety. This could just pop off if you get too much pressure. So I'm gonna start there. And when you're trying to rig something like this together, just go to the store and start with the valve. The PEX is gonna be standards. I'm not gonna crimp this because Keep in mind, if it's too much pressure, it'll pop off. So that'll be an added safety. Last thing you want to do is blow too much air through your lines and uh, blow a pipe off. So what I'm going to do is here I have my compressor and I'm going to set it for how much air that I want blown out. And you can always come back and crack it a little bit more, okay? So I'm going to go put this on my camper and crack it a little bit, open some lines. All right, so I got the compressor on just a little. I'm going to go over and start cracking valves. And you might notice nothing came out. That's a hot. That's why I don't have it hooked up. Let's turn the cold on and try it out. Nothing came out. So that tells me that I don't have enough pressure. All right, turn it up a little bit more and voila, we got pressure. Uh, we got a nice little hum coming. So. We know we're getting all the water out. Um, you're just gonna run it until all your water is clear. Um, I like to prefer it at least not dripping like that. Just because keep in mind you're gonna be pumping some, um, you wanna be pumping the RV fluid in and you're not gonna be mixing it with water. It's just gonna dilute it the more you mix it. Um, but you get the idea. Close this valve and then go around all your other ones. I like to start, I started in the back just to show you guys, but I like to start at the closest, so I'll do the sink and then move all the way to the back and then crack the, the farthest spigot last because it's the farthest in the system. Um, and then I'll shut it and go back and just double check the other ones. But you definitely want to crack all valves when doing this. Uh, you don't have to do it at the same time, but at least uh, clear the lines So the reason why I like using the air method and blowing it out instead of just straight RV fluid is I feel like You go through more RV, RV fluid if you do it the method by not blowing it out first because you're mixing water that's in the system with the RV fluid and This is a surefire way to make sure you've cleared it all out of the lines and then you just have to add a little bit of RV fluid. You don't have to go out and buy gallons on end. This way, uh, it just saves you some money. 
and um, yeah I've poured my RV fluid in here so now I'm gonna hook up power and run the faucets hey guys I was editing this video and decided I wanted to add to it uh, as far as when you dump the antifreeze in the tank it's good to do that in case all the water because you can't blow all the water out of the tank because you're blowing through the direct line and the tank feeds um, from the pump as well. So you want to put RV fluid in the tank. You don't have to put enough, uh, much, just enough to where when you hook up power, you can crack the closest faucet and see some RV fluid come out because what that's gonna do is run it through your pump and keep your pump from freezing up. And then if you've already blown out the rest of the system, there's no reason to add more, but you can. Um, if you want just to triple check that you've uh, covered all your bases and got RV fluid through it. But this process of blowing the air through is really to eliminate having to use any RV fluid at all. Uh, technically, you could do that. Um, you run the risk of just not getting it all out though, but you can drain your tank. Most RVs have a uh, drain at the bottom of the tank. And what you can do is open that uh, valve and keep, keep in mind you're gonna keep your air hooked up. So once you crack that valve at the bottom of the tank, it's gonna drain that and then what you want to do is close that valve and then go open up a faucet and you're going to have to have power hooked up for this but you're going to run your pump that way um, because if the pump's not running it's not going to send uh, water through it or air for that matter because there's valves on it to keep it from bleeding back i'm pretty sure um, but that's a surefire way to make sure that the air gets through the pump and through the faucet is to run it for just a few seconds until it's blown out pretty sure you don't want to run that pump dry uh, for very long so just just note that and uh, yeah I hope this helped you uh, winterize your RV and yeah just keep in mind this method is for if you're just wanting to blow it out I left a few things out and that's why I wanted to hop on here and just clarify a few things thanks for watching